Hello everybody, today I'm going to do a simple and quick makeup tutorial um, that I do in the mornings as a busy mom, so let's get into it. First, I'm going to moisturize my face with this oil-free facial moisturizer. Um, I think it's supposed to be like Neutrogena's. I just got the Target brand. After my baby, I've had way different skin. I'm still trying to figure it all out, but this one with the SPF is like pretty good. I'm almost done with the full bottle. I'm definitely going to be repurchasing it. And then, you guys have probably seen this on Nikki tutorials, but I actually really, really like it. It's the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm. You can see that. Um, it works really, really well. Everywhere. And my face just feels super moisturized after I do both. Okay. Okay. Next, we are going to do eyebrows, which I have. It's hard to see, but it's the e.l.f. Whoop, why am I going this way? E.l.f. Uh, eyebrow kit. And I'll have everything linked down below that I used. I have a mirror right over here, so I'm just going to fill them in. I have pretty thick lashes already, um, but they're kind of sparse in some areas, so I just kind of fill it in a little bit. I know not everybody likes thick eyebrows. I do. They're still a little bit uneven. I'm working on that, but I was trying to grow them out. I'd gotten um, them done, and the lady who did them accidentally waxed off some of the like main arch right here. So this one is definitely way better than this one is. So then I just kind of try to match them up. This is like the longest part of my makeup routine. So other people probably can do this way faster. And I just use the like little applicator it comes with. It works just fine. I have like gnarly hair that just curls. It doesn't want to do what I'm asking it to do, but that's okay. Over that, I'm sure you can set it. My camera's coming off kind of reddish, but in person it doesn't really look like that. Let's see if I can fix it. Okay, that's good enough for me, especially in the mornings. Just want it to look put together. Now I'm gonna use the NYC Cosmetics. Um, this is an HD Color Trio eyeshadow. In Oh Soho Sweet 783 just has the nice this is like a really simple um, palette to use and I'm gonna grab my brush I'm gonna use the pinkish color here just put that all across the lids This doesn't have to be like perfect because we're going to blend it in once we have the rest of the shades. Got some right here. Right there. I'm going to use the brown middle shade. Kind of work that in to the crease. This is just kind of fast just because this is what I do to just get ready in the mornings um, with the boys. Something easy and quick to do. I mean, most people probably don't put on this much makeup, but I really like to. And I'm going to try to blend that in a little bit better. So 
especially right there in the corners. It's a little bit of a highlight. Okay. Now, you could be done with the eyeshadow there, but I like shimmer. So this is the e.l.f. Fudge Pot. Um, it's in the color Ain't That Sweet. And I just use my finger to apply it. And I just put some of that right on top just to give it a little bit more shimmer for daytime. Not overboard, but it's a little bit more glowy. Um, and this will actually stay put all day. And I love that. Okay, now for eyeliner. I do have my makeup first before I put like the actual foundation on just to clean up around it. And what I have, actually it has the whole name kind of off of it, but it is by Milani. It's a like 24 hour liquid eyeliner and it's in 05 Everlast. Um, this stuff really does last all day. Just gonna do a basic like um, line on top. I'm not going to wing it all just because I'm short on time today. And that takes me a little bit longer to do. But I get like really good color payoff with this. Now for some mascara. I'm using the CoverGirl Plumpify Blast Pro. I really, really like this stuff. It really does well for my lashes. I know a lot of people use their um, eyelash curlers, but not in the morning for me unless it's like a super eventful day or something where I need to get dressed. I don't do all those extra steps. Now on to foundation. We're going to be using this one, the Cover All Wet n Wild. My color is 820 medium tan. And I love my, also you can't see, but Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And my color is Sand Sable number 20. Then I kind of bring it there. Get it. On that spot right there. And that same beauty blender. I'm just gonna put it in. I have like a lot of creasing under this eye from lack of sleep. Hopefully I can fix that. 
or hopefully it gets better. It doesn't like stay that way. I've been putting tons of eye creams on. Um, but that comes with the territory as mom. Well. Just wanted to look more alive and now we're gonna conceal which I have both of them the wet and wild color icon contouring palettes um but I'm not super tan right now so I think I'm gonna use this one in Dorsey de Leche It's like an ashy brown, kind of gray toned brown. Um, I really like it. Get a contour here. You know that double chin action. I'm going to set my under eyes with the other color in here. Why am I going that way? Getting used to this camera action. But this side right here. I'm just dusting it just to set that concealer. I'm sure it lasts all day long. cover up that little red dot on my face and what I love to use is this one the elf cover everything concealer you can see I've used it a lot but I get like a lot of red spots on my cheekbones so before we do blush I just want to even it out with my finger and cover that a little bit more I know I have blemishes on my forehead, but I'm not, that doesn't bother me, especially when we don't have anywhere to go today. It's just like basic mommy makeup tutorial. Um, so now for blush, we are gonna go with Wet n Wild Color Icon. This is Pearlescent Pink 325P. Just had some color on the top of my face. Coming off super pink on here and barely, barely noticeable, like on my, on the camera here. Just weird. Let me get a clean brush. Just kind of smoke it out a little bit more. I'm getting not as bright pink on camera. Okay, and now a highlight. Now, this is a drugstore highlight that doesn't get too much hype, but it's the Wet n Wild by Fergie um, Center Stage Collection, and this is in Rose Champagne Glow. On. And just put it on the tops. It's like a very subtle highlight. It does last all day, actually. Um, let's see. And especially if you wet it, it'll get like way brighter and glowier. But I just kind of want it to be subtle. A little bit on the bridge of my nose. We're not contouring all that. And a little bit right here. On the cupid's bow. I don't know if you can see all that, but just a light glow. Yeah, you can definitely see it on this side. 
it works really really well and it's really affordable and I really really like it that's really where I like to highlight um, most days I'm debating on whether I want to do the under eyes but I'll go ahead and do it I'm gonna do this physician's formula sexy booster and it's the ooh la la sexy eyes black let's put it on the bottom lashes I always do this last because I have really sensitive eyes um, so my eyeliner always always bothers me but this stuff actually stays put even with my itchy watery eyes I have really bad allergies and this summer has been horrible for my allergies like horrible um now I'm gonna take this is the elf smudge brush but I like that it's like dense right at the tip um to put some eyeshadow to set that eyeshadow and I'm just gonna do that eyeshadow that we did the brown in the middle and kind of smudge that out a little bit underneath just so it's not like so harsh I cannot work on my eyes without ha having my mouth open for some reason. I don't know if y'all do that. Okay. And now to set my makeup, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set Spray. so I'm back everybody and I just did a little twist on the side a little side braid added some hoops and a t-shirt and I'm ready to go basically this is what I would do anytime I'm going to the um, bus stop or basically to run errands really fast with kids a t-shirt is great especially with the one-year-old who's probably gonna throw up on my shirt all day so unless I have to go anywhere I'm not worried about it but Here's the completed look, um, super shimmery glow, everyday makeup, not super heavy, but it looks like you tried hard, you did, and it literally took like 10 minutes basically, so the whole process is 20 minutes, which is all I have to dedicate to myself in the morning with kids, so hope you enjoyed it, and I forgot to do a lip, but that's because usually I just run out and do chapstick, but you can add any lip color you want to if that's your step for me, I don't add lipstick unless I'm going somewhere. So, okay, that was all. Hope you guys have a great day and thank you. Please subscribe. Bye.